Level 2 Smog Inspector Practice Test Question 1 What should the technician do when the sample hose is too short to reach the pipe of the vehicle being tested? A. Splice in a section to the sample hose to make it longer. B. Connect two sample hoses together. C. Attach a longer nozzle to the sample hose. D. Move the EIS smog machine closer to the rear of the vehicle. Answer. Move the EIS smog machine closer to the rear of the vehicle. You are allowed to move the smog machine to the edge of the building, but not outside question 2 gas calibration how often must a gas calibration be performed on the EIS smog machine? A. Once a day. B. Once every two days. C. Once every three days. D. Once every four days. Answer. Once every three days state regulations require the emission inspection system to be calibrated every three days question 3. HC hang up what can cause the EIS to display an HC hang up message on the screen? A. A dirty ventilation fan filter. B. A dirty sample filter. C. A sample hose leak. D. The wrong calibration gas. Answer. A dirty sample filter. Question 4. Motor homes how should the technician test a 35 feet? Motor home that is in the shop for a TSI smog inspection? The tachometer pickup lead, as well as the sample hose, will not reach the proper positions of the motor home. A. Move the EIS emission inspection system smog machine outside of the shop. B. Extend the tachometer pickup lead. C. Move the EIS smog machine to the edge of the roof of the shop. D. Attach a longer sample hose to the EIS smog machine. Answer. Move the EIS machine to the edge of the roof of the shop. Question 5 EIS What should the technician do when he hears a sound like the sample hose is disconnected inside the EIS smog machine? A. Call the EIS manufacturer service representative. B. Open the back part of the EIS and reconnect the hose. C. Open the back part of the EIS smog machine to be sure of the problem. D. Open the back part of the EIS smog machine and replace the faulty hose. Answer. Call the EIS manufacturer service representative. Question 6. Telephone line What type of telephone line must be used when a second EIS machine is installed in a licensed facility? A. A two-party business line. B. A dual-purpose telephone and credit card line. C. A standard, single-party, business telephone line. D. None of the above. Answer. None of the above remember the smog machine must have a dicated phone line question 7. HC hang up which of the following could cause an HC hydrocarbon hang up screen to be displayed on the EIS smog machine after a gas calibration has been completed? A. The sample hose has a kinked in it. B. One of the gas calibration tank valves is open. C. The sample hose has a small leak in it. D. The ventilation fan filter is dirty. Answer. One of the gas calibration tank valves is open. Question 8. Smog repair. Waiver when a vehicle is smog tested and the results are excessive HC, hydrocarbon, emissions and the vehicle owner is given an estimate for a valve job. He informs the technician that he received a cost waiver the last time the vehicle was smog tested and failed. What should the technician tell the customer? 
A. He must contact the state referee for another cost waiver. B. The cost waiver is a one-time waiver and the vehicle must be repaired. C. He or she must spend at least $650 on the vehicle before a new cost waiver can be issued. D. He makes too much money and is ineligible for a cost waiver. Answer. The cost waiver is a one-time waiver and the vehicle must be repaired. Question 9. Obligation to the consumer What should the technician do when a vehicle fails a smog test, and the vehicle owner is convinced the technician failed his vehicle on purpose? A. Tell him you don't care what he thinks. B. Tell him to call the state referee and have the vehicle retested. C. Test the vehicle again and hope it passes. D. Tell him to take the vehicle to another smog station. Answer. Tell him to call the state referee and have the vehicle retested. Question 10. Operation of the smog machine How many reasons are there for a smog check in the enhanced emissions areas of the state? A. 2. B. 3. C. 4. D. 5. Answer. B. 3. Question 11. Vehicle identification What should the technician tell the customer who is in the shop for a smog check because he is selling his 1975 Ford? A. It must be retrofitted with an EGR, exhaust gas recirculation, valve B. It must have an AIS, air injection system, installed C. It does not need a smog check because it is too old. D. It must pass a two-speed idle test. Answer. It does not need a smog check because it is too old. Question 12. Gross polluters a vehicle gross pollutes during a smog test at a test and repair station. The vehicle is successfully repaired. What should the technician tell the customer to do now? A. He must have the vehicle tested at a star test only or star test and repair station. B. He must sign a new estimate. C. He must have the vehicle retested at the test and repair station. D. He must take the vehicle to the state referee for a new smog test. Answer. He must have the vehicle tested at a star test only or star test and repair station. Question 13. Vehicle identification When a vehicle is in for a smog check and the engine listed on the under hood label is not the one in the vehicle, what should the technician do? A. Tell the customer the original engine must be installed. B. Tell the customer to go to the state referee for a bar label. C. Check the ECS emission control system manual to see if the installed engine was available for the vehicle that year. D. Smog the vehicle as is. Answer. Check the ECS emission control system manual to see if the installed engine was available for the vehicle that year. Question 14. Visual inspection When the technician inspects the vehicle visually, he finds the top of the EGR, exhaust gas recirculation, valve has been crushed down. How should this be entered into the EIS, emission inspection system, machine? A. Fail under functional. B. Modified under visual. C. Tampered under visual. D. Missing under visual. Answer. Modified under visual. Question 15. Visual inspection the vacuum hose leading to the EGR, exhaust gas recirculation. Valve has been rubbing on the intake manifold. The hose has a small leak in it as a result. How should the technician enter this condition into the EIS, Emission Inspection System, smog machine? A. 
fail is modified. B. Fail is tampered. C. Fail is disconnected. D. Fail is defective. Answer. Fail is defective thanks for participating.